Hi Floss Tube, I'm Fiona and welcome to my channel, Fiona's Craft Cottage. This is Floss Tube number 23 and today is October 19th, 2021. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Um, I really appreciate everybody taking the time to stop by and check out my channel. Um, so in today's Floss Tube, I have uh, some FFOs to share with you. Uh, another finish, new starts, a whip, and a little bit of haul. Um, so I hope everybody has had a great few weeks. Um, it's already been a few weeks since I did my last floss tube, um, but I hope everybody has is doing great and um, getting lots of stitching time and um, having some cooler weather. Um, so uh, where shall I start? What have we been doing? Um, we've been super busy with school. Um, the girls and I kept pretty busy with that. Um, and we do a lot of reading. Um, I love to read out loud to the girls and they have their own books that they read. But one of the ones that we have just finished is called Mandy. Um, I'd never heard of this book. It's by Julie Andrews Edwards. Um, Julie Andrews, uh, Mary Poppins. Um, a lot of people don't realize that she is actually also an author. Um, and this book was actually written many, many years ago back in originally 1971. So it's been out for a long time. Um, and then rewritten, re, uh, republished. So uh, it's awesome. There's a forward by Julie Andrews in it, um, but an awesome book. We absolutely loved it. Um, the girls loved it. We didn't want it to finish, but we couldn't put it down either. So I would highly recommend this to anybody who loves to read with their kids or just enjoys reading um, these books. It was awesome. So uh, we will definitely be keeping this in our collection and reading it again in the future. It has definitely become a family favorite. Uh, very awesome book. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, what else? Um, school has mainly been it. Um, a few weeks ago, I did attend the um, Pacific Northwest Stitch Summit with Acorns and Thread. Um, it was a fantastic weekend. Um, it started on Friday evening, uh, and we did a little um, make and take, which were these little counting pins. Hopefully you can see those. So we got the pin and the kit with the beads in it, and they even included the glue and we made these little counting pins that are meant to resemble little acorns. So that was really cool. Um, and then on, sorry, I put those down over there. Sorry, I need to stick them otherwise I'll lose them and they'll end up in somebody's foot. Okay, so that's good. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, and then on Saturday, so I did the Friday night Zoom here, but then on Saturday, um, I had the great pleasure of having uh, being inv invited over to Christy's house, Java Girl Stitches, um, and her friend Anna had flown in from California, and we spent the day watching uh, the Stitch Summit, um, hearing the designers, and stitching a lot, and talking a lot, <laughs> and laughing a lot. Uh, so it was an awesome, awesome day, and then I ended up going back on Sunday, um, for the, where the Stitch Summit finished Sunday morning. And then we also got together on Monday and went to Stitches Paradise. So um, I met a few other Stitches there. Um, Allie was one of them. Hi, Allie. Uh, and it was awesome. We got to see it and we went through many, many, many Lizzie Kate uh, uh, patterns. That was awesome. I've not really gone down Lizzie Kate's rabbit hole before. Um, so that was a lot of fun um, and I uh, got a lot of uh, fun things. So before the Stitch Summit, um, Acorns and Thread sent us these awesome kits um, and definitely spoilt us. We got a project bag see-through, which is awesome. And then they also included this pretty cool little thing. I've been using it. It's actually very handy. It's actually a clipboard that folds in half. Um, and apparently you can find these on Amazon. I haven't looked for them, but apparently nurses use them a lot. Um, this was something that was mentioned at the Stitch Summit. Um, so you may be able to find these on Amazon, but they are super handy to keep the um, the charts together. And if you have a working copy, it gives you something hard to mark it off. Uh, we also got a little needle minder, a little stone needle minder, um, which is very cool. And then they sent us some awesome kits and included everything with it. So this is the fabric, and I'm sure you guys have all seen this by now, but um, that was a fabric we got sent. I believe it's 32 count uh, linen. Beautiful, beautiful color red. And then we also got the silk 
on a on a new thread minder um, and all the silks for the um, designs. So I have not stitched with silks before, so I'm really excited to try these out. Um, but I'm not sure when I'm going to exactly start these. So we had three projects that they included. Each designer worked on one of the projects, but they all fit together. So we got the book. Sorry, I should have taken these out. We have the book from Ink Circles. Very, very cool. And then... make sure the right things go with the right things. <laughs> then we got the basket. From Hands On Design. I'm trying to get to, there we go. Very, very cute. And then that also, and not only did we get the chart, but we got like all of the, I don't want to show the chart, but we got all the finishing items as well. So that was really cool. So I want to make sure I keep the right pattern with the right finishing things. And then this is by Summerhouse Stitch Works. And this is the bowl. I think that's what they called it. The bowl. The bowl. So the bowl goes in the basket and the basket sits on the book. So very, very cool. Um, very generous with um, all the finishing stuff and everything that was included. We also got a little piece of wax there to use with the silks, um, which was awesome. And then the each design, then they also included these, um, those, the designs that I just showed you now, I don't think will be available to the public. I think they were just for the attendees to the weekend. Um, but this one has been um, released and it's exclusive for acorns and thread so if you're interested in getting it you can contact Janine at acorns and thread or the ladies there they will help you out um, and it's called around my friends um, and it was each designer created one of the circles and I don't remember which one was which at this point um, and then they actually stitched them and finished them just like this and presented them to the owner Janine of um, acorns and thread um, this year they are celebrating 25 years being uh, there in an open. So this was to celebrate uh, that anniversary. And so this is available to the public to purchase, at, but only from Acorns and Thread. Uh, and they were really cool to include all the fabric for finishing, the fabric to stitch on, and then all the finishing stuff. So that was really awesome and very generous. Thank you so much, Acorns and Thread, and all the ladies there for everything that you did that weekend, and the designers, Hands on Design, Ink Circles, and Summer House Stitch Works. It was a really fantastic weekend, and everything was very generous. Um, I did win a prize. I haven't received it yet, but I do know that Acorns and Thread has put it in the mail. They called me over the weekend. So I'm really excited to get, I won two charts, so um, I'm really excited for those to arrive. I will show those in my next Floss 2. So that's was the giveaways. Um, let's see, what shall I do now? Uh, let's go into finishes. I've got a few finishes to show you. Um, I have been stitching Halloween like crazy this year and finished quite a few pieces which I'm really excited about. Um, Halloween's not really my thing. Um, I grew up in Australia which many of you know we didn't do Halloween there so but I do enjoy it with the girls. We usually decorate just a little bit and they trick-or-treat but we don't really get into it in a huge manner. Um, but this year I have gone a little crazy. I can't stop stitching Halloween. So yay me. Um, so my first one is from, oh no, where did the book go? Oh, here. So I've got two finishes from the Jack O'Lantern Jubilee book by Brenda Gervais. Um, this is an awesome book. I love all the designs in it. And for this year I have stitched three and finished three of them. So that's been keeping me busy. Um, I'm going to leave the rest at this point for next year, I believe, or throughout the year. Um, but I'd love to do this this little witch. I did not do that one. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did do that one. It was the other witch I didn't do. <laughs> Don't mind me. Um, so the first one is Trick or Treat by Brenda Gervais. Um, this was stitched on 28 count Monaco using the called for... Uh, uh, plastic color works and weak sty works. Um, so the palm, so this is just stitched on, uh, mounted on sticky board, and then there's some um, 
little gingham that I found at Hobby Lobby underneath, and then it's also just mounted more on the 28 count Monaco. Um, and then it's actually glued on. I didn't put this on with magnets because I figured I would just leave it there. Uh, then I added the, the the whole unit I got at Hobby Lobby. It did not include the bow or the little um, pumpkin, but it did have like these metal leafs on it that I just left there. So my bow looks a bit squished because it just is, and I'm not very good at bows. So <laughs> I don't usually do bows, but I thought it was good on this one. So and happy the way it came out because I'm a little bow challenged. Um, but the actual piece, the pumpkin, I got at Hobby Lobby. It was already painted this color, and it had the um, muslin going around it. It's not muslin. It's whatever that stuff is. Um, I can't think of it right now. That stuff. Um, so it was all there. All I had to do was add the bow and the pumpkin on the bow and then add this and it was ready to go. So it was a quick little finish and um, I really love it. It really came out really cute. So and I just picked this up last week at Hobby Lobby so they should have them if you were looking for one um, in their fall and Halloween section. Okay, so that's that one. My next one is the other finish from the Brenda Gervais book. It is called uh, Witch's Brew, I believe. Hang on, i got to turn something on. This is in the Cauldron from the um, Target Spot. Um, and I picked this up this year, and it should be still, it might be still there. I think most of them are gone by, at least for us here in Vegas. Most of them are gone now, but you still may find one. Um, so this is Witch's Brew. Let's see if I can. There we go. Oh, it's not giving me good light, sorry. So I stitched it on the 14 count cobweb fabric. It's not really coming up. I'll hold it there for a minute. There we go. So super cute. So I left the webbing off, but just put the spiders on the actual web on the fabric. Uh, and this little witch and the cauldron stitched up really quickly. It was really fun. So that's mounted on sticky board, and then I used um, Chelsea's checks for the uh, orange color and the black and white and then just added some more pumpkin um, buttons along the bottom. I did put some lights up here to give it a little bit of lighting and then I added a spider. It's just a spider on a magnet that I can take off and then this is a webbing that I found. Both the spider and the webbing thingy I found at Michael's and they're actually headbands that I um, Put this on with excuse me with um, painters tape on the back and then I put a magnet on the spider the spider was actually on this hat there at the front where you can see it all teared apart um, and it was a super cute hat I'll still use it I can just turn it sideways or I can find something else to stick on that um, but a super cute hat it had a headband on it and um, I just pulled it all off and cut it off and um, so this will stick next to it. So the spider was on this, but this piece was a separate piece, a separate headband that I've just stuck on with painter's tape very messily. Uh, I'm not neat at all with my painter's tape. <laughs> it gets ripped off and stuck down. So there's my witch's brew. Um, I love it. Uh, I do have a little potion bottles that I will put along the bottom, but I didn't glue them down because I didn't want them to be there permanently. But when I display this, I will um, put them there just for a little fun. So that's that. And I just found the spider headband and this webby headband at Michael's just on the weekend. Um, I didn't really have anything along the top of that and I was just going to leave it until next year to find what else I could find. But I found those and thought they would work. Um, I thought that, oops, there goes my lighting thing. So that's that one. So I love that. And here goes the lighting. And there it is with the lights off. And maybe with the lights off, I can see that fabric better. There we go. So I love that fabric. It was really fun to stitch on this year. Um, again, it's fabric flare, 14 count cobweb. And I used the cold four colors on that one. Okay. My other finish, all Halloween, is Bats and Booze by Fat Quarter Shop. This is a big one. <laughs> uh, let me, there we go. So Bats and Booze by Fat Quarter Shop. I do not have the pattern. I had it in Pattern Keeper on my um, Kindle. So 
I don't have a physical copy to show you, but you've all seen this. And this was also stitched on the 14 count uh, cobweb by Fabric Flare. Uh, the pattern did call for a lot of little white dots to make sort of a webby look in here, and I left that off. Um, I thought the webbing, I wanted to leave as much of the fabric to show the webbing as possible. So but I love how it came out, super cute um, pattern to stitch up real quickly. So this is, um, I used uh, DMC colors, the called for DMC colors for this. And this is down at stitched, oh, this is mounted on sticky board. And then these are Priscilla Plaid's fabrics that I used to mount it on, also on sticky board. Uh, this piece, this um, bat, was actually a smaller stand. It came from maybe this high. I found it at Michael's. So I had pulled it apart and added a longer doll rod in there and painted it black so that it would hold the, um, the design. And this is actually just on with magnets and washers so that I can take it off and store it easily. And then I added the little ghost and the bats to it. They're just on with painter's tape. Um, so I can easily take them off for um, storage. So that's that one. My kids love this one. They think it's awesome. Uh, and it does stand up quite well, even in the RV. <laughs> so there's that one. But there we go. So there's that one. Love how it came out. Um, and now my last one is I Can Drive a Stick by Lizzie Kate. My first Lizzie Kate pattern. I love this. And yes, I can drive a stick. Growing up on a farm, you had to do it, learn how to drive a stick, whether you liked it or not. So um, there's that one. Here's the finish. And then it will sit in a little black easel that I found at Hobby Lobby. So it'll just go like that and I can sit it somewhere in the RV. So this is awesome. So this is stitched on 28 count Jobelin actually. I had it already dyed and I dyed it myself. And it's just called for one week's dye works, the onyx color. Then the whole thing is stitched in that. So it, this is mounted on sticky board. Uh, this frame thingy um, I found at Walmart actually just a couple of weeks ago. Um, and as soon as I saw it, I knew what I was going to do with it. So I mounted some um, Chelsea checks on sticky board and put this on sticky board as well and I put it together. And then the brooms are just glued down. Um, and the little brooms um, I found in Hobby Lobby in the doll section. Um, Michelle at Stitches Paradise had a model of this, not like this, but it was in a pillow, I think, or maybe just a little frame. And she had one little broom on it and she had, was kind enough to let me know where she found it. So I love this. I love how the way it came out. Um, the brooms from Hobby Lobby come in a pack of three, and the, those are the three that I got in the package, so I used them all. Um, and I like that they're there, but I would have. I was hoping to find something to put under them to sort of give them, ground them a little bit, but I haven't found anything. So I'm just going to leave them like that for now. So that's that one. So those are my finishes, or my full finishes. Um, so I've got to find places to put them around the RV now and decorate. <laughs> That'll be fun. Um, and then I have one other finish, also from the Jack O'Lantern Jubilee book. So I did the Trick or Treat, the Little Witch's Brew, and then on the back I also did Ghosts and Goblins. So I haven't done the cats or the crow with the pumpkins. And then there's one other little witch in there also. So this is Ghosts and Goblins. Okay, I'm thinking I will turn this one into a pillow to put in a dough bowl or somewhere. Um, this is stitched on 28 count Monaco that I hand dyed and I used the called for Weeks Dye Works and Classic Colors, Color Works three. So super cute and this was a fun one to stitch up. It stitched up pretty quick actually. Um, so stitching out of this book was a lot of fun uh, and I got a lot done. So those are my, all of my finishes for today. Um, I do have a lot of new starts, Halloween, uh, and a little bit of haul. So I'm going to move into new starts. Um, my latest new start, I just started yesterday. 
I started a few stitches a couple of weeks ago, but that was all I got into it. But yesterday I pulled it back out. This is by Autumn Lane Stitchery. It is called Hocus Pocus. And I have started up here in this area. So this was new, uh, a new release at market just at, um, last month. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I love it. Um, and so that is as much as I have done. But I love that hat and I love the, the colors on the fabric. It's really cute. Um, this is, I think, 28 count, either 25 count or 28 count Lugana. I can't remember now, that I hand dyed. Um, and I just love that hat. I think it's so cute. So, and it is stitching up really fast. I actually got this done pretty quickly yesterday, actually, and I didn't stitch on it for long. Um, and I finished the hat this morning before everybody was awake. I can usually get a little bit of time in stitching um, before everyone's up and moving around. So, love that. Um, not sure if I'll get it finished before Halloween, but um, I definitely wanted to get it started. So, another new start is... A little Halloween ornament by the Sweetheart Tree. Um, this is super cute. I love this and I cannot wait to get it all stitched up and finished. Um, I have done this square so far. So it's actually stitched like this. Can you see it all? Okay, there it is. And so I've done one little square. And so each top and bottom of the triangle will have the same stitching in it with the um, webbing in the little spiders, top and bottom, and then each square will be a little bit different. And then I will cut this out and sew it together, and it'll make a little square 3D ornament. So I love that. I love it when, um, like a biscornu or a pillow or something like that, I love it when they're stitched into something cool like this. So there's the first. There is a lot of back stitching on this, but it is well worth it. I mean, it adds so much detail to that little pumpkin and the vines. So I am super excited to finish this. Hopefully this will be finished and sewn together by my next floss tube in a week or so. Two weeks, probably. So super, super cute. Um, and uh, it does also have, if you can't see, in case you can't, I'm not sure. Oh, there's also little beads in here. Mill Hill beads. So those had a really cute touch to it also. There we go. So it's super cute. I love this. Um, there was a model for it at Stitches Paradise and when I saw it I fell in love with it and I was like, oh I've got to stitch it. It's so cute. So Michelle at Stitches Paradise, thank you Michelle, um, set me all up and um, super excited. So it is stitched on 28 count Monaco and I am using the, oh that's the back, <laughs> oops, uh, and I'm using the Cold Four DMT colors. And yeah, it's a bit messy on the back with all the back stitching, so, oh well, nobody sees the back. Okay, my other new start is not Halloween, it is Quilty Barn by Fat Quarter Shop. This is a sell they are doing. Uh, I am not doing the whole thing, I, at the moment I'm just stitching this little one here. And at some point I would like to do this one, but I'm not sure I'm going to add it in. I might do it in January or February because um, I want to do some more Halloween stitching and finish up these couple of pieces and then start on Christmas. Um, so far I have got this much done. Get that up out of the way. So, and this stitched up pretty fast, but I'm a little scared of the roof <laughs> and all of the stitching in here and the door. But so I've just got the roof, this section, and then I need to add an animal, which I'm still deciding which animal it will be. Um, so there's that one. This is being stitched on 28 Count Monaco that I hand dyed also. And I am using the Cold Ford DMC colors on this one. And this is actually, uh, the cell is with Fat Quarter Shop, but the design is actually by Laurie Holt. So awesome Laurie, another awesome Laurie Holt design. So very, very cool. So that's it. That's the one. Um, I also have another Lori Holt start. I don't think I had started this in my last floss tube. It's another cell by Fat Quarter Shop. So happy. Also by Lori Holt. And the colors in this are beautiful. They are so bright and happy. I love stitching on it. And so far that is as much as I've got done. So it's going to be quite long. Um, but it's also stitching out pretty quickly and I am stitching this on 25 count Monaco, uh, Lugana, sorry, 25 count Lugana 
and no dyeing on this it's just white so and that's been a nice change actually I don't oftentimes just stitch on white fabric so loving that so when I have a quilt room again I'll be able to put it up in there <laughs> fingers crossed one day okay and my last one is a whip it is modern folk embroidery um, I am trying so hard to get an hour of this one done a day um, I was really hoping to get it done by December but I feel like my window is closing so I'm still stitching over here in the June section so I'm only halfway through so in truth by the end of October I should sort of have this section done and with only like 12 days left of October I don't think that's going to happen so that pretty much leaves me all of that section to get done by December and I don't know if that's realistic so hmm it is what it is uh, but I am going to be a little disappointed that I didn't keep up on this and be finished by December but oh well um, I've got a good chunk of it done and then I'm going to have to be very careful not to just let it sit um, if I don't have it finished I'm scared that I'll just end up letting it sit and I won't finish it at all so this is what I've done so far in the June section it's taken me a while I should have had this finished already um, but I've almost finished all the dark blue I have a little bit more done here this section's finished and then some more blue dark blue here and then only a little bit of light blue here a little bit of light blue there a little bit of light blue there but then all of this is light blue so that's going to take a while so we'll see hopefully I can get this finished next week at the latest and then on to the next section so but I am loving it it's beautiful um, it is a lot of work um, but I'm really glad I did it it's been a great experience to do this throughout the whole year um, and I've had a busy, busy year with lots of changes so that kind of explains why I'm so far behind <laughs> so those are my whips and new starts for this floss tube um, sorry things are falling everywhere so now I have a little bit of hole and then we're done. Um, so let's see. Um, I have a little bit of hole from, well, I'm actually, oh, this is another Lizzie Kate one I got at Stitches Paradise. This is Coming to Town Santa 2011. So I have this kitted up and ready to start for Christmas. So hopefully that'll stitch up pretty quickly. Um, to go with the barns, I also got, ooh, it's not the right one. I got some cards, but this is not the right one. I got ones with animals on it, with the cow and the sheep and the pig and the cow. So, sorry, um, that's not the right one. <laughs> I need to keep track of my stuff better. Um, and all the new starts are also part of haul. I also got from... Um, Stitches Paradise, this new one by Hands on Design, uh, Stitchy Talk, uh, Let's Talk Stitching, sorry, and this was a new release at Market, um, and I also have this, the pattern for the bag, but I've put it away for Christmas, so um, I got a few Christmas things that I'm going to just put away for now for Christmas. And then I also got Bewitched by Autumn Lane Stitchery, which I am super excited to stitch this also. I love how they've done it, designed this, um, I think it's amazing. So I will start it this, this Halloween, but I don't know. And I may even save it to start on actual Halloween, but I really don't think I'll stitch it all up unless I can't put it down like their other ones. <laughs> um, I also got a philanthropic pumpkin. I have a hard time saying that on camera. Um, from Hands on Design, this was a special release. Um, that they released to raise money for the Special Olympics and they raised over $20,000 I saw the other day on Instagram. So this is an amazing kit. Um, I have it all kitted up to go. All I had to do was buy the thread, otherwise it's got everything else in it to um, stitch. So I will be starting this in November for Thanksgiving. So super excited to do that one. Um, I also got some, this was from Amazon it's actually walnut uh, walnut shells are perfect for pin cushion filling and that's the brand that it's round nut shells um, plum easy patterns it's called and they're saying that it's perfect for the pin cushion so I'm actually going to use this to finish a strawberry that I did a couple of weeks ago 
by Erica Michaels. It's a Halloween strawberry. So I'm really excited to do that. It'll be my first one. So I was happy to find that on Amazon. And then I also found these really cool little bags. How cool is that? I love it. And I'm just going to use it for like, I can put Lizzie Kate in there with her thread and this is kitted up and ready to go. And then I also found this one. And I actually found these at our gift shop convenience store here in the um, RV resort. So I was super excited and they weren't very expensive at all. So I love these for like thread and notions and that sort of stuff. So um, that is the haul that I have to show you today. Oh, I actually have another finish because I don't, I'm not very organized today. So um, I was trying to find a gumball machine from Target, the white ones, and I missed out. I didn't get it like many others. But Christy, Java Girl Stitches, was awesome enough to gift me one. Thank you so much, Christy. I love it. So I'm trying to cut that glare out, but I'm, it's not working. Um, so this is from Target. Um, in their dollar, dollar spot, I I'm, don't think any of the stores have them anymore, but you can certainly check. Um, and I filled it with little um, pine cones and the little white things are little white pumpkins. Um, I got these just at Hobby Lobby, I think. They're little white foam pumpkins. So they're not really showing good on camera. And then the little teeny tiny um, pine cones. So I just put those in it, tied a bow around it and called it done and it will sit out until Thanksgiving and then I'll change it out for Christmas um, and the other day my daughters and I were at Hobby Lobby and we found a red one so they're a little bit different in size if I hold them next to each other you can see the white ones are a little bit bigger and a little bit more detailed on the bottom section the lids are a little bit different but they are still super cute um, and all they had in red and they are with their Christmas decorations. I found it on a Christmas display. So super cute, still glass. I mean, I can't believe how well made these are actually and that they're glass. I expected them, especially the ones for Target for $3. I thought they were plastic. So little did I know. So it does show um, on the bottom. These are not $3. These were $9.99, but they are 40% off at the moment. Um, and so can I get the lid on? Yep. And so it's um, empty all the way through. So you do have to stick things on this section to fill it up. So but you can put tissue paper or something in the bottom to sort of help elevate it if you don't have a lot of stuff. So that is awesome from Hobby Lobby. So check your local Hobby Lobbies or online. You can probably order them from there as well. Um, so I think that is it um, here. That's all I have to show you. Um, thank you so much for watching if you've watched all the way through. Um, we don't really have any major plans coming up. Um, we'll be doing Halloween with the girls. They're very excited about that. Um, I don't think the RV resort is doing anything for Halloween. I know they do things for Christmas. They have um, a few contests for Christmas decorating, so that'll be fun to do if we're still here. Um, but I don't think they do anything for Halloween. So we're not sure what we're doing for trick-or-treating yet, if we are going to go or not, but the kids are got their costumes already they're very excited um, I'll have to post photos of them on Instagram they've um, got some costumes of their favorite characters um, so I will post that on Instagram at some point and show photos in my next um, floss tube because they're super excited and they've gone all out this year um, so hopefully we'll get to trick-or-treat somewhere otherwise life in the RV resort park is going great uh, we're started to know get to know a lot of our neighbors which has been so much fun um, they're such bad influences on us. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, we've had a lot of fun. It's been been great to get to know some of our neighbours really well. There are a few people around us. Um, thank goodness they don't watch Floss Tube. So <laughs> uh, I won't mention any names, but we've got to know there's a few people around us that are here full time pretty much. Um, and we, we st we've just sort of started hanging out. We've had dinner a few times. A uh, few drinks here and there um, and it's just been a lot of fun getting to know them and they are so great to our kids and um, it's just been a lot of fun we never really got to know any of our neighbors here in Vegas before people usually just sort of drive into their garages close the door and go inside and we'd wave and be pleasant with our neighbors of course but um, it's been a lot of fun getting to know these these few people around 
few sets of people around us and then of course we have neighbors come and go right next to us so it's just been great getting to know those as well and sad to see quite a few of them go so um it's been a lot of fun and a, definitely a different experience not what we were expecting when we came to vegas but it's been a lot of fun and very interesting it's definitely an adventure so um that's where we're at for right now um again thank you so much for watching um you can also find me on instagram at fiona's dot craft dot cottage i always mess that up um my etsy shop is on hold at the moment um but i'm working to get that going i'm not sure how much i'll be doing the fabric i just have some challenges on um doing that with the space i have at the moment but i'm hoping to get that going again in the future i'm just not sure when um but uh it's there for now um but on hold it's i think listed on vacation so <laughs> The shop is, I'm not. So um, that's about it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I, I appreciate everybody's comments, likes, and please subscribe. Have a great day. Happy stitching. Bye, guys.